morning meditation, I want to invite us to see if we can seek some level of comfort, if that's accessible or as comfortable as you can be. That might be lying down, that might be standing and walking, but seek the best balance you can have in your life at this moment, this time. This meditation is a part of a series to interrupt the chronically undertouched. I think this is applicable to all human beings on the planet, and I want to focus my attention towards this cis black male, and particularly in the uh, United States, and the importance of giving us some analysis uh, a way back into finding our touch, noticing that. This is simply not about having hands on your body, but it's really about rebuilding your cocoon, rebirthing yourself, and coming into the world as a full human being, even if the world is not quite ready if you just show up in that way. We want to start with uh, some acknowledgement of capitalism and the monetization of water, the monetization of earth, and the monetization of clean air. And how people, the world majority, and black folks are oftentimes suffering because of this monetization and how it can shape the environment that does not allow us to really drop into the magnitude of powerful, connected touch. So I want to just take you into your body, if it feels safe to do so. Maybe start with the part of your body that feels the most grounded. For me, that is my left pectoral or chest. Let's put my hand right there right now. You might even hear me touching my left pectoral muscle. I can hear my heartbeat. I know that your heartbeat is some evidence that you are alive. Notice that right now in this moment you are alive. Life force. Life source moving through your body. As your heart beats, notice that your heart beats because you have drank water. You have to get enough water in to sustain life in your body. Ask yourself, what is your relationship with water? If you can remember early stages in your memory, where water was available. Hmm. No, there's a layer of stories are worthy to slow down with your melanin, black body and water. Right now, I want you to take your hands and move it to a place that you want to bring awareness to. And right now, put my hands on my thighs. And think about all the water and major veins that move through my legs. Hmm. Now, I want to invite a practice of noticing, and particularly noticing how we can use a tool of trauma tracking in meditation and be a guide to our healing. We want to start with water and bathing. 
what if we imagine a place where bathing was not about being cleaner? That bathing was about noticing water on your body. That it was about taking the time to not just wash skin for cleanliness sake, but let your body remember that you are water. That water is life. And that water is a part of your freedom. That water is a part of your painful history. If you are an African heritage body in the United States, water is moving over your body. Maybe you're immersing yourself in water. Maybe it's a, a cold dip. Maybe it's a warm jacuzzi. But notice water. Be with water. But not about cleansing the body, but remembering how to be in your body. Hmm. Water. Notice how it sits on your skin. If you are able, think about water in your history. Think about safety to swim. Try and notice any kind of fear you may have with water. It's not about judging it. It's about trauma tracking it. Trauma tracking is about listening, looking with your ears, listening with your eyes, going historical and asking questions that oppression does not want you to notice and dare not ask. Water. What is your relationship with water? It's not about the chlorine in the water, but dig deeper into your relationship with water. Ask yourself, where do you have access to water that has not been poisoned with chlorine? Think about your community. Think about how much water costs. Think about who controls the waterways in your community. Think about the people of the global majority that have freedom with water in your world. Water. Notice your body and your relationship with water. Think about bathing, not as washing the body, but noticing you have a body that is worthy to be honored, that is worthy to be held by water. Water. Mm. Our last trauma, trauma tracking tool that we'll use in this meditation is no. There was a time in your history of your DNA where you laid in water and it was not colonized. It was not about convenience. It was about you being at one with the earth. Five mantras, mantra, lay your head on my pillow, lay your heart on my soul. Lay your heart on my soul, water. Lay your heart on my soul, body. Body is water. Lay your heart on my soul.
be with yourself. I love you. You are loved. We'll pause here.